Hi there, my name is Holt Skinner. I'm a developer advocate for Google Cloud AI, and today we're going to discuss the A2A protocol created by Google. Special thanks to Ivan Nardini and Lashmi Harikumar for their contributions in putting this together. First off, what is A2A and why is it useful? AI agents are popping up everywhere from lots of different companies and using all sorts of different frameworks. But how do we get them to work together on complex problems? Imagine planning a trip. You'd ideally want a flight agent, a hotel agent, and an activity agent to coordinate. But it's a lot of work to build every single one of these. You might want to use someone else's agent for some of these tasks, but you have no idea how it's implemented or how it works. It's completely opaque to you. The world needs a standard way for all these agents to communicate and collaborate. This is where agent to agent or A to A protocol comes in. It's an open standard designed to be the common language for AI agent communication and collaboration, regardless of how each agent is implemented. Kind of like how Langchain made it easy to swap between models, A to A can make it easy for agents to communicate in a consistent way. I like to think of it like Lego blocks. Every A to A agent transmits standardized information about itself and supports the same public methods, so it can be called by any other agent to complete tasks, which opens up all sorts of new orchestration scenarios. A to A facilitates communication between the end user, a client agent, and a remote or server agent. A client agent is responsible for creating requests and handling end user interaction, while the remote agent is responsible for acting on those requests in an attempt to provide the correct information or take the correct action. Something important to note is that any given agent can act as both a client and a remote agent, depending on the context. Now, a standard is only as useful as its adoption, and A to A has already become widely popular in the software development industry. These are just a subset of the partners who have agreed to support A to A. You can find the most up-to-date list in the A to A documentation. Let's go over some of the core capabilities of the protocol. A to A agents can dynamically discover each other, collaborate via standardized tasks, share multimodal content, handle long-running processes, and do all of this with enterprise-grade security. Importantly, every agent is opaque, which means the implementation details never need to be exposed to follow the protocol. A to A is focused primarily on the bridge between agents. Let's go over how the protocol works. We'll walk through how we build a simple system where agent A needs agent B to do something. We'll go through the core building blocks of A to A and how they enable collaboration. In this case, agent A is the client agent and agent B is the remote agent. First, how does Agent A even find Agent B and know what it can do? Agent B publishes an agent card. Think of this as its digital business card. It's a standard JSON file, which is served at a well-known URI on the agent's domain. This card tells Agent A everything it needs to know to start a conversation. This includes Agent B's name, what it does, its HTTP endpoint URL for A to A communication, the specific skills it offers, any special capabilities like streaming, and how to authenticate. You can think of this functioning like robots.txt for web crawlers or service registries and microservice architectures. Once Agent A found Agent B, how do they actually talk? A to A uses standard HTTPS for secure communication. The envelope for their messages is JSON RPC 2.0, a simple way to call functions on a remote server. Inside these JSON RPC messages, we have key A to A objects. A message represents one turn in the conversation, like agent A asking a question. It has a role, user, or agent, and contains parts. A part is the actual content. It could be plain text, a file, multimodal, or structured JSON data. When agent B gets a request, if the request is simple and completes quickly, it might respond directly with a message containing the answer. But how does agent B actually process a request when agent A calls it? That's the job of the agent executor. It's a class that you write, and it links the generic A to A protocol plumbing handled by the A to A SDK and the specific logic of our agent. This is what makes the agent into a Lego that can be connected to other agents. The SDK worries about HTTP, JSON RPC, and event management. With the executor, we focus on what happens when the agent processes its responses. What if agent B's task takes a long time? We can't just make agent A wait on one request. This is where the task object comes in. A task is the job an agent needs to do. This task has an ID and a status with a life cycle, submitted, working, maybe input required if agent B needs more info, and finally completed or failed. So when agent A sends its initial request, agent B might quickly respond saying, got it, I've created task one, two, three, and it's now working. Agent A then knows this task ID. 
To get the final summary, agent A can periodically call another A to A method tasks get, asking what's the status of task 1, 2, 3. Agent B will respond with the latest task status. And eventually that method will return the task as completed, and the summary will be in task.artifacts. Now, polling can work, but it's not very efficient if you want quick updates. For that, A to A supports streaming using server sent events, or SSE. If agent B's agent card says it supports streaming, agent A can use the message stream method. Now the HTTP connection stays open, and agent B can push updates to agent A as they happen. These updates can be the initial task object, task status update events. These are messages like, I'm now working on the specific part, or the task is now complete. Then task artifact update events. If the result is large, like a long summary, agent B can stream it in chunks. So the first paragraph, second paragraph, and so on. This is much better for user experience. Think of live progress updates or seeing a document appear as it's being generated. You can find an in-depth tutorial with some sample agents showing how this implementation works at goo.goal slash a2a tutorial. We've discussed implementing an A2A agent, which begs the question, is this it? Do I just need A2A to productionize my agent? <laughs> nope, A2A is just one part of a possible agent stack. This is the stack that Google recommends, but you can use whatever components you prefer. Now you might also notice another protocol in this stack, which has been very popular recently, MCP. Does A to A replace MCP, or are they just going to be competing forever? Absolutely not. Let's understand how A to A and MCP relate because they are complementary, not competing. MCP is all about how an agent connects to its tools, APIs, and resources. Think of it as the standardized way an agent performs function calling, how it interacts with its own capabilities or external services it has direct access to. A to A, on the other hand, facilitates dynamic communication between different, independent agents acting as peers. It's about how agents collaborate, delegate tasks, and manage shared workflows. So you'll often see both in a sophisticated agentic system. Agents use A to A to coordinate with other agents, and they use MCP to interact with their tools to get part of the job done. Of course, the best way to learn all of this is to try it out for yourself. For all of the latest information about A to A and the full specification, check out the documentation at goo.goal slash A to A. And we have an official Python SDK at pip install A to A SDK. You can find lots of sample code in the A to A samples GitHub repo. And check out all of the repositories in the Google A to A GitHub organization right here. All official A to A code will be added to repo this in this organization. If you have suggestions or questions about the protocol, file GitHub issues in the appropriate repositories. And please make pull requests if you want to suggest improvements to the protocol or share your sample implementations. It's rapidly evolving, and we want as much community involvement as possible. Let us know what you're planning to create with the multi-agent world using A to A.